what's new in the april build of pixel experience build for the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro hey peeps what's up manchi here back with another video and in this video we're going to have a look at what is new in the april build of pixel experience build for the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro most of these features are applicable to the normal build as well with the exception of one feature which is applicable only to the plus edition which is long screenshot right off the bat you will notice that the security patch has changed to april 5th 2020 and the next major feature is the elephant in the room which is face unlock yes pixel experience has added face unlock to android 10 it can be found in settings and then you can go into security and bam here is the feature for face unlock tap on it enter your pin it will give you a warning about face unlock click on next and now you should be able to add your face data for face unlock do note on the redmi k20 pro it is using the normal front camera because it does not have an ir front camera so face unlock will not work when it is absolutely dark but other than that it works absolutely fine you do have a few customizations with face unlock as well such as opening the previously opened window or application directly after face unlock the next major change is they have switched to oss vendor for those of you who want to get into the technicalities oss vendor means an open source vendor which is based off caf and aosp sources means they are not using any binaries or blobs from miui and this is a very good thing because of the fact that it's going to help with porting android 11 or building android 11 from source for the redmi k20 pro without having to be dependent on xiaomi to update the blobs next up they have also fixed android auto now i personally do not have android auto so i cannot test it out for you but if you test it out and it is not working feel free to report it with logs in the pixel experience thread on xta developers linked in the description of this video other than that they have also improved screen of fingerprint on display and they have also improved the fingerprint on display it now works of course there are some hiccups along the line but me personally i think it is better than before other than that they have also fixed nfc fixed the brightness bug when unlocking the device now nfc will only work if you have the xiaomi mi 90 pro on the redmi k20 pro indian variant xiaomi has removed the nfc chip so it's not going to work for you next up they have added back battery and notification lights so when you're charging your phone the light on top of the pop-up camera is going to light up and the same applies for notifications how do you access that you go into settings apps and notifications notifications scroll down click on advanced and here are your two toggles blink light and turn on light when charging other than that they also have a screen recorder baked in which now supports internal audio recording and all you have to do is add the quick setting style for it then tap on record screen so here is the quick setting tiles drag and drop it and then once that is done you can enable the option by clicking on record screen on the top left of the screen you can see that we are now recording our screen and it is going to record internal audio as well once you're done with the recording you can click on stop and that is going to save your recording next up only for plus users they have added long screenshot so here it is i take a screenshot i can tap on long screenshot it is going to scroll down tap on it one more down scroll all the way down and then once that is done i can tap anywhere to save that screenshot so there it is peeps those were the new features which were added with pixel experience april edition on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you